Hola guys and girls and welcome to a new Crucible gameplay video. This time we are looking at the deck Fan Yen, the neutral sanctuary mayor. Uh, because if you watched my last video, you know that I was... Uh, a Words Collide uh, display was on its way to me. And this is the best deck uh, from that display. At least SAS wise. I got like two uh, good decks out of the display, which is a, a, f a fair ratio. You usually get like two to three uh, good decks out of display. Sadly, a high uh, Bronner deck ratio, which is not what you want to see in Worlds Collide. But either way, this is the deck we got from that. It has rather high, S like 79 is definitely pretty high SS wise. It is one of my top decks. I like, like, you know, or if you watch my videos for longer, you know that I had a deck which was like 80 sus, but then dropped again under 80. So 79 is the highest I have at the moment. This is one of them. It doesn't feel that strong. It is rather swingy. I have like very insane games where I just uh, steamroll the opponent. I get all the right combos and stuff like that because there are a lot. There's like Lay of the Land together with the book, which is insane, which you can like, basically play, guaranteed plays two, two things in a turn. We do have the Imperial Forge, which together with a tribute and a, a what should, where is it? A city state interest can lead to very free keys if the board state is there. Then with the tribute together with some exiling and stuff, and uh, not exiling, uh, exalting and stuff like that, we do have a graft as well to get all our ember back. And there's in general a lot of potential for like s cool combos with different houses because we got the uh, Jagger which allows us to play cards from different houses potentially. We got the the uh, Kirby of course. We got the book which allows us to play stuff from different things. We have the Golden Spiral which allows us to use creatures from different uh, houses. So for, yeah, for example, we could Golden Spiral our Jagger to kill it and then play some card we have another in our Saurian turn. So there's a lot of combo potential. What we don't have to worry about is board wipes as well. We have double Axiom and double Red Alert. So board wise we are fine. Sadly no artifact control. But still, I am like I think I'm around a 50% win rate with this deck currently in Crucible, which is not too impressive because that's like that's I could throw a coin as well. Other than playing this deck and see who wins, so, so it's not something you want. Usually you want something at least over 60. But uh, yeah, that's the deck for you. Like I said, it can be very fun. Okay, that's the the thing with this deck. It is always like pretty fun to play due to all these shenanigans, which interchangeable house cards where you can play stuff out of house uh, shenanigans. Uh, it's very fun to play. Don't know about being that strong, but arguably being fun to play is probably more important than being like competitive. But uh, yeah, that's the deck we're gonna use. Let's just hop onto competitive ladder and see what we can do in this video. And uh, yeah, the other uh, good deck I had is the other one you see probably see on the top right here. Yeah, Ursula, Autumn Steel, the 39,235, uh, around a 50% win rate as well. But it is the other uh, better deck out of the display. We'll probably showcase that in a different video. But yeah, we are facing uh, Simply Shane. Simply Shane, yeah, that's correct. Simply Shane. Good luck, have fun. Uh, he's playing some mass mutation shenanigans. We do see Wars Blessing with a bunch of mutants and untamed. And yeah, overall, it looks like a fun mass mutation deck. Uh, not matchup wise, it's it's I don't I can't tell yet if it's a bad or good matchup. It looks like an even one, in the worst case scenario. So we are starting player, and I like. I like this hand. I can start off with the Golden Spire, which th getting that on the front is already pretty nice. We can follow that up potentially with our Logger stuff or our uh, Starline stuff, depending on what probably Loggers, because we get more cards out of hand. Uh, and opponent does generate Ember, so our uh, information exchange definitely can get us an Ember here. So let's do that. Titan Guardian said we can pl can play him on a flank yet to make him draw two cards once we destroy him. Uh, but yeah, pretty soon, pretty soon. Um, we already get the Imperial Forge. A bit, a bit too early for that. But potentially we could, what he could do is just... Uh, if a pawn would fill the board. Uh, most likely I'm going to go with Star Lines. But I'm looking at... Like I could uh, use the... Okay, never mind. He just does that. I could Axiom to kill my own Titan Guardian. Since he wouldn't be on a flank if I play Loot on the field as well. But yeah, he does decide to do this. He's at 3 Ember. So it's very likely we will get to 4. Um, so I might want to destroy the... Do I... Want to kill the Fandango. What's worst case now which could come ready into play? I think I am going to be a bit greedy because I, I mean I could go Sorin as well to kill that guy. Hmm 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 hmm. Am I? I'm not going to. I, I try. I, I will be greedy. I, I can because I can capture one with here, so he has to at least generate two Ember before his creatures get into play ready. And then he can do this, heal him and ward him, and end the turn there. Uh, but yeah, since I, if I wouldn't be able to capture one, then it would definitely be very threatening, since you just need to generate one Ember and then the Fandangle triggers and everything gets into play ready, which is not untamed, of course. But we will see. Arguably, 
I might might have been a mistake to ward my Titan Guardian. Because I am thinking about killing him with the Axiom. But it was just too good to he get like, both effects of mid Ingram, which is the healing and the warding. It's like maximum value out of my medic, but it might have been a mistake. Should have probably uh, warded my own medic or for the frame, for example. Uh, okay, City State Interest is gone. That means my Empress probably will just be played for the Ember. As he proves, and he gets. He managed to generate two Ember there, so he gets to play his Mutant Cutpus ready. Uh, so sadly, he was able to generate two Ember there in one turn. Uh, he uses this into Reap, and that's it though. Okay. Um, I am fine with just going with Star Lines then. Getting rid of this Fandangle. Uh, just fight first to, tr to get rid of the Elusive, and then I ward my Frain so I can fight with that. Keep that on the board. Can capture one. I keep capturing on Frain. I like capturing everything on one creature, because once a creature dies, it's, it's easier to enable a good craft that way. Which I still have in the deck. If you like distribute your Ember, maybe the opponent only has to kill one creature to get to like seven Ember or something like that, and then you still have like two creatures with Ember on them left. If you want, if you're looking for a graph play, definitely just put everything on one creature. So once he kills that, he gets a bunch of Ember. And okay, uh, he just does that, Sally. Uh, we cannot really prevent that. Yeah, we cannot. We just straight cannot. Um. But we could board right this, which I think is what I want to do. I think I go with, with my. I could go with Logos as well. Hope to like with Wormhole into something good. But let's be honest, probably not gonna happen. Mm, let's just go with Sorin here. Uh, let's use you to rape and ward my Garcia. Then I can Axiom to ward my Medic again, which will keep the ward. Since it won't be destroyed, I get to draw two cards. Sadly, don't, don't draw into something, into anything too wild. But I get to do this, gain Ember here. My opponent will be able to get the key, though. Could have gone with Star Lines just to stall the key, but it wouldn't. Like, I, since I wouldn't be able to draw any card, since, yeah, I only had sorry and Logos cards in hand, it didn't look like too strong of a play, so, yeah, since that yeah, wouldn't do really anything for me. Just stall the turn. And then Paul can play more cards and just gets more troublesome to deal with. So I rather decide to do it this way. Uh, this way I'm definitely gonna go Star Lines again. Gonna just play the Red Alert. Just gonna play the Land. And the last one is on top, so let's go of course with the Book of EQ. And then we can reap with you. We can reap with you and ward our... I think I want to ward my Ludo. Since I still have Tribute in the deck. Okay, there's a Mimic Gale, which is nice. Uh, Mimic Gale, usually I like to trick, uh, target my daughter, my Ludo, or my Medic Ingram. These are like the Three usual suspects from Mimic Gale. Depends, of course, what the opponent plays as well. Maybe I want to copy something the opponent has. But these are like three cool creatures to get a second copy of on the field. Opponent goes with Untamed again, so it can lose his six power skirmish uh, tr Trimble there. Uh, does he have. I mean, he does have the Font of the Eye, so yeah, he can, he can prevent my key. Can very easily prevent my key here. Just needs to fight versus the Garcia. And he does. But I'm just gonna go with, uh, with my Logos next turn. Lost in the Woods to remove my wards, but that gives me back to check again. So I don't know why I did that. Mm, front of the Eye Capture one, yeah, but it, like I said, this gives me to check now. And like I mentioned, I am gonna go with my Logos. First, let's put you, then let's see what we Wild Wormhole. <laughs> we Wild Wormhole the regular media. Definitely not what we want, but what can you do? But sometimes you don't get a hit with that. And then the Daughter, and that's the question. Who do we want to copy here? Mm, definitely don't want to copy you. Could copy the medic or I could copy the daughter. I think overall, right now, since I will draw my full hand, I'd rather copy the medic and award the medic as well. So I can keep my bot intact, uh, which I think is more important, especially since I drew the stunner right here, which can be pretty good with medic. And I don't have that many Starlands cards left in the deck, right? Only two, yeah. So. If I go Star Lines next and trigger the book, I'm very likely to hit something else since there's like only two cards left there. So it should be good there. It does go with Untamed again. So he can't kill the daughter since he's elusive. He could kill my Mimic Gale, which is, yeah, very likely kills my Mimic Gale, I would assume. But at least if Mimic Gale is gone, then I can still trigger my Group Think Tank at a later turn. Yeah, it does fight versus the Mimic Gale, makes sense. Then he scouts to fight again. Does it? Does, I don't think scout readies, right? Yeah, they just gain skirmish. So 
So he just does that to gain a bunch of Ember, captures one. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with Star Lines next. Uh, just play the Red Alert for something. Uh, sadly, I don't have anything I can use to do the Kirby with. I'm definitely still gonna play him though. I can do this, equip this, then I can reap. First, heal and uh, ward, of, of course, my Kirby. And then, stunning, we want, of course, the opponent. And then, let's trigger the book, see what we get. Tribute, so we get to get, play with our Sorry and stuff. Which, of course, good news. And I'm, I am gonna trigger my Jata here, so I can get to check. Raise the pressure a bit with my opponent. I still have a well warded board. I do draw the graph together with my tribute, so that's pretty nice. So if my opponent gets to check right here, I can still just go with Saurian, tribute and stuff like that. I only I still have one. Yeah, now the chances of my book are not that great. Of removes the ward on my medic. Sack of coins to kill some stuff. Probably the medic removes ward. Daughter probably dying as well. Oh, he might try to kill him. No, my quest to stays alive. So I'm definitely gonna go Saurian next. Definitely gonna go. Sorry, next. Gives me to check and prepares a great draft. So let's go with Saurian. First tail the diplomacy, so the creatures won't be able to fight. I'm gonna reap with you, but I'm not gonna trigger you. But I am gonna keep triggering you. Sadly, the tribute will go on the group thing tank, since he's the strongest right now. So what I could do. I can't kill the group thing tank, sadly. If I trigger him, nothing will really happen. So yeah, I'm just gonna reap with you. Do that again. And then do that same thing again. Yes. And then I'm still gonna tribute and sadly on a yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna do it two times. It gives me good to check. And he is uh, would he kill both now? That's the question. That's kind of that gets the that's what I was talking about. I would prefer having all the ten Ember on one creature. <laughs> because of the graph. Since now he only has to kill one, gets to ten seven ember. And I could graft, but it's not really like best case scenario, I assume he kills my Jata. Because then I can try to kill Groofing Kick myself on the turn I play the Graft. But it's unlikely it's difficult. I mean I could do that in Sorry as well with the Golden Spiral to be fair. But of course for armor and, uh, for power and free armor is a bit difficult to to kill it. Okay, so he fights versus my probably versus him. Yeah, he did. Bring low. Capture everything but six on his creatures. My board wipes are sadly gone. I do still have an axiom, but of course that won't help versus if he captures all this stuff. Mm, he's not a check though. Mm, so do I go with. He didn't steal anything. I didn't got any damage on you, sadly. Uh, I'm gonna go with Logos for sure. Let's go with Logos. Graft, I'm not gonna play yet. Let's just first steal one. Then I'm actually gonna put the graft under Jagago, so once he kills it. I mean I can trigger it myself then. Worst comes to worst. I am gonna ward my if I, no, let's ward the Jata to make it more difficult to kill for my opponent. Play the Hepsis. And with you I can fight at least Yeah, I can fight versus you to get the Ember. The rest sadly you will stay alive for now. Let's go with Untamed. So let's see, if he like gets rid of both of them, that could be great for us. Okay, the probably will play some mutants. Because currently we are even actually why are we even a mutants? What is a mutant right here? Oh Jagal is a mutant. But now he has more with the Trimble, and what else is a mutant? Oh the Hapses, okay. Interesting, interesting. Uh so I don't get the forge here. Mm. I go with Logos, I can kill, yeah, Logos is actually pretty cool, because I can kill these two, if I kill him, I, yeah, I, I definitely go with Logos here, because what I can do, I can first, f I, need, I need you, I need you, so I'm not going to do that, but I could ward him, so, um, I said I can't kill him, right, I could run Jago into that, but then I'm going to play the Graph, which isn't really what I want, um, yeah, I'm just going to fight with you versus the Trimble, then I'm gonna trigger you. Kill these guys. Reap with you. Uh, I want my f I want my four board wipe. I I mean I'm fine. I I want you to have your board wipe as well. But if I get to ward all the stuff with creatures, I don't mind that at all. But yeah, that's the whole turn. I don't care anything else. But I'm a check with eight, so 
The Graft's still under Jargoggle, so I can still wait till he can actually kill him. If I get to Forge soon, I'm actually gonna kill the Shoulder It, because he actually gets a Steel one, but that is able actually what gives me the range to get to my 9 Ember, which are sitting right there. Currently the strongest creature is the Hapsis. Okay, Commandeer, so he can capture a bit more. Star Alliance is looking fun next turn. Guess just how much we have. One, two, three, four, six Star Alliance cards. So it's at least less than average in a deck, because of course the average is one third is each house. Mm. Can you capture enough to... Okay, it stuns my Jarter. That's fine with me, to be honest. Captures one more. Yeah, should be enough because he can. He could kill one with the with the Baldrick and then capture with the Fond of the Eye as well. I'm gonna go Starlines though. I think that's the. Oh, actually, wants the Ember. Okay, so he fights with them. And then he plays Cleansing Wave. Okay, that's definitely working out. Uh, working out. I'm gonna play Garcia. At least make him pay a lot. And then let hope what we can get something good with the book. Okay, let's go Star Alliance, play Garcia here, play Krikra here, play you as an... I could play you as an... Uh, rather have, yes, play this as an upgrade on my Hapsis, then put the stunner on my Kirby. First let's reap with Kirby and stun... stun Baldrick so he doesn't gain so much Ember anymore. And let's see, do we have some luck with the book? We do a real Ludo, so we can play with, with, with our Saurian next, mm, which allows me to play you to the right. Actually discard both my Axioms, because with Ember of them I'm not going to do anything with that. Now it's the question, do I want to generate more Ember with you? I think I do, because I still have the... Yeah, definitely want to do that. Boom. And then do that again. Because like I said, I do have the graft. The pawn can't forge yet. If he kills him, I just graft him and then I basically win. So at the end of the turn. Barry has something like stealth mode shenanigans, something like that. Or no, he can't force me to the house or make me not play uh, action cards. If he lets it alive, I'm just going to go with uh, Sorin again. I'm going to do the effect again. Run him into something to kill him. Oh wait, I can't do that. I have to run him right into it because I need my spiral to run with Jargon into something, so I can play the Graft in in, uh, in Saurian. I wouldn't do that with Ludo, I would first actually give him the Ember so I can Graft. That only makes that his creatures won't get Ember, right? Can, fairly, he's gonna be dealt, so I can be dealt damage, so that's good. That is indeed good. Yeah, now it's definitely, now it's definitely the turn I was talking about. Because I'm not gonna play this, this as well, I do want him actually to, oh, he concedes. G and uh, nah, sorry, nah, sorry. I'm recording. Rather have new decks. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah. He wants to want to have a, a different deck. It seems with four wipes. But yeah, like I said, I'm recording. So I mean, if he, I'd rather have a different different opponent now. Oh, he let, left himself already. At this point, if you would have chosen a different deck, I, I, I wouldn't leave, like just waste time leaving there. But yeah, this was definitely a good ma good matchup there. I got the I got my graft set up very easy. Like the book, de you definitely saw the power of the book of EQ there. Gave me two very strong turns, which just made me fill the board, put Ember on them, and like, like I said, I, this turn I would have run my Yata into him. Then with the spiral, use my Jargoggle to run that into him, and then trigger the graph to get like I don't know, probably a 10 Ember or something like that. And then I would have been have, to have at least 15 Ember before my last key, which I don't think my opponent could have prevented. But yeah, that's good luck have fun my opponent here. Start the game. Let's see what we're facing. Um, some oh, okay. Oh, double Nell deck with how many? Uh, are we talking how many? One, potentially two. Oh, with transform from that's actually pretty fun. Not, not, not that many upgrades, to be fair. Uh, that's not a head I want to keep. That looks way better. That looks way better. Mm, question is, do I want to... I, I might just want to f start off the the daughter right here. 
So I get I actually get something to play with Kirby and I potentially can load up a big red alert if my opponent uses the chance to fill up the board with some stuff. And I can do these two plus like holographophone. Yeah, holographophone. Yeah, this won't work since it has alpha and the others aren't yeah, are creatures, which for that I would need the, the mutant subject Kirby, but yeah, we play with good old regular Commander Officer Kirby. And there we go, one creature, two creatures, come on, one more. Or two more, best case scenario. Hmm. That works as well. Now the three, come on, one more, so I can at least kill the Lycra alien. Ah, oh, Stelster, why do you play it as an upgrade? Um, but he, that's what, he, okay, I kill it either way. Okay, so let's go star lines. Free damage to everything. Kirby. Ingram. Uh, I'd rather have an Ingram warded, and then we can play you, and then we can end the turn. Let us go for Shadows here. Max Asp. Oh, Long Fingers. That's, that's troublesome. Not a fan of Long Fingers. Um, do I go with... Could go with Starlines again to play... Axiom wouldn't do too much. I do want to get rid of long fingers, but how can I do that the smartest? I think I go with just with loggers here. Play you. Play you. Play you and put the Axiom under you, I think. Yeah. And then let's ward our medic again. And the turn. We do get an extra alert, so if my opponent does too much versus our board, I can just go with that. I don't know why they made diplomacy rare. Like what? Like this card would have been decent if you don't make it alpha. Then I could understand because then it could be fun because at least can. But why make this alpha and rare? This like that doesn't make sense in my opinion. As I, some some okay. He has the collision, which of course kills our uh, medic income through the ward. So good draw there for my opponent. But now at least my Kirby survives if I should trigger the group thing tank. Uh, if I struggle to get a free scout with his uh, likely alien since I do have elusive I like to do that as well <laughs> with my uh, with my uh, like with these uh, alien mu mutants F you get free fights versus uh, elusive units we do see the end thing and he triggers actually to steal some and kill okay 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 I could actually I go with Logos again, doesn't really do too much to me. I think I want to go with Star Lines. And get put to go on Spyro on board, do this. Yeah, let's go with Star Lines. Uh, no, don't leave my archive, just play you for nothing. If you, I want to. Yes, I know, now this doesn't work with Groove Hinting, but I want to protect my Kirby as good as I can. Lay of the land. Mm, yeah, let's get the Explorer Rover in hand. That is to the right, though, and then we can play the Golden Spiral with our Kirby, so we get our artifacts on board. I mean, now we have like all the, all the, the Soaring cards. Opponent goes with this. Question is, do we want to Axiom? Might be the case, might be the scenario we might have Axiom soon. Okay, now Kirby dies. At least one of his, uh, his probably his Asp, I would say, dies, because Longfingers, I mean, you could steal one with Longfingers, yeah, but usually you want more value out of him. Because Abs is not a mutant, it's a beast. I guess you die, you of course get damage on him, and yeah, he kills Zarax Asp. Figure it as much, then he infernuses. I don't know if I have like insanely available cards. The, the Day of the Land is probably the most important one. So you can get rid of one Ember from my side. Um, is it worth to Axiom? Not really at Umbra Fiend. And it's, okay, yeah, it's, it's definitely getting worth to Axiom. <laughs> Red would survive though. Oh, and he does that, so I can't Axiom the long thing is away. That changes things. A reminder to. Okay, that. Okay, how do we deal with this? If I trigger the. If I go with Logos, doesn't really do too much. Mm, if goes. Could do that, run him into long fingers to kill him because he won't wouldn't steal anything, then Sinred survives, the rest dies. Um I think I definitely still want to go sorry and, and axiom this to kind of get the bot back. So first we do have to diplomacy. 
but then he gets to do I just discard that? Mm, would have to tribute on you. Honestly, fine. I think because the city state everything on my everything on me was five. I think I just discard you because I don't think it's worth it giving my opponent an ember because I w that's actually what would happen right there. Four. So I need to play four creatures. So let's play you as well. I still have my graft in deck, right? Yeah, I still have my graft in deck. So then let's use you to fight with my fight with you with his long fingers. Then let's see state interest. Everything captures one. Let's play Axiom and ward my creature hit here. Let's play another Jata. And keep the tribute in hand for now and the turn right there. Okay, Ludo is awesome. I love seeing Ludo there. That of course will protect my uh, my Ember a little bit better. Oh, and just go with Shadows. He's finishing blow, kills my Groupthink tank to steal and get some Ember and bounces probably these two to get the check. He does, but that's why we have the tribute. Um, yeah, let's go with Sorian again. Let's play the Looted to the left. Uh, now I, sh I should have played this uh, first, but yeah, let's discard you. Then play you to the left as well. You can reap and trigger that. Uh, you not you're not doing anything for me right now. Just do this. Do this. Then we can trigger you to. I'm very likely to draw my graft soon, so let's just do this and reap again, and the turn because I want to keep it protected. And there's a graft. There is the graft, so if he wants to get his ember back, at least get to graft it away. Regarding media plus tribute is a cool combo as well if you have the loot on board because you just get get all the ember back from the opponent and then he marks off this to Wait, he first he fights and then he marks off this. Hmm. Okay, who does he force me into? Force me into star lines. Because that could be annoying if he Yeah, okay, damn. Oh wait, he reaps. Oh, he wrapped. God, thank God, thank God. I was scared. Like he gets, he gets the ember, and I can't graft. That would be, that would be insanely annoying. But yeah, let's go with starlights, of course, since I have to do that. Uh, let's capture more on you. Then let's, mm, honestly, let's equip. I want to get to check. I do want to get to check, though. So let's just reap, and force my opponent to do something about that. The mark of this is gone. Does he have a second mark of this? No. That's good news. That's good news. So you just go with this again. Can't kill my, obviously can kill my uh, finger magic here. The problem is uh, if he does it with anguish, it would be annoying. Oh, how uh, how is that works as well? Like the good thing is I don't want him to get damage on anguish actually. He could purge my, no, he just purges that. What did he decide to do? Purge everything with uh, hand to hand or alien because these are both humans it seems. Yeah. I mean, you can still get damage on anguish to, yeah, like that. I can't get rid of that, but I have to. I have to draft here. I can't allow my opponent to have that much ember. So let's go with loggers first. Let's see what we can get with the wild wormhole. Maybe something cool. Okay, that's that's actually not cool since <laughs> I do want the ember with the graft. But yeah, let's graft then. Play you there. Play you there. And let's what I don't know. Let's what you, for good measure, end the turn there. I do get a lot of ember, but I do have to pay eleven as well. So the anguish is alive, sadly. So he does go star lines. There's the nell. So probably some drawings happening right now. Since double nell and his, uh, I mean, he does have he has one upgrade. Yeah, there's a blast shielding. He still gets to draw a lot. Mm, I do want to get rid of these nells. Which I sadly cannot with star lines, which I would want to play because I need to get rid. I don't need to get that badly right now. And he's gonna draw a lot. If I go with Sorian, let's see. Two Ember, two Ember. Uh, with you I'm gonna fight. But still, that's two Ember, then I'm at eight. Then I fight with you again, then I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm, I'm counting for Imperial Forge, by the way, right now. Okay, just killed one of them, so <laughs> that makes the calculation way more easy. 
And yeah, he's failing the ball right here. Sadly, my red alerts. I need to redraw soon, so I'm probably gonna go star lines just to get a redraw. So I'm more likely to get into my more likely to get into my thingamajigger. And he does have a stealth star and Zorua uh, draws more. Uh, what did happen now? Uh, stealth star, blah blah blah. Okay, he just drew a lot. I get the fort right here. And like I mentioned, I am gonna go star lines because I need to redraw to my board wipe, obviously. So let's do that. Hmm. Let's have a stealth star here. Play you. What can I do with you? I could kill you. Could kill the bone saw. He's most likely gonna go star lines again, right? So uh, let's just kill you for now. Do have the stunner as well. Just just put the stunner on Castor Jata. I could have stunned something here. Don't know how useful that is. Okay, don't draw into my board wipe, sadly. So yeah, he goes to star lines again. Makes sense since he gets to draw an insane amount. Just bo if he bounces this, he gets to draw one for the symbol, and then six, so seven cards in total. So he will have his whole uh, deck in hand. Okay, if he actually fights with his Theros and Trudon. Doesn't want to reap. Uh, I mean, yeah, fighting or reaping doesn't really make a difference. It's a one ember trade off for free damage on this. I might. Yeah, I might lose right here. I need my buff life. Okay, I need my axiom. Axiom would work as well. I need my. So I, need, I definitely gonna go with Logos next. Definitely gonna go with Logos next. Yeah, he's gonna draw an insane amount, which is fair. Puts it all on a Dino Alien. Gets the check, which uh, since he doesn't steal, I won't be able to prevent. Yeah, I can only I can copy. What could I copy here? What would be annoying for my opponent. Could copy my Garcia at least to. He's, ga he's gonna have his whole deck in hand, so there's not much about it, really. Not much I can do about it, really. Mm. So I'm gonna go with Logos, yes. Um, double exclamation actually already is enough, so let's just do this. Information exchange, information exchange. Remove this done here. Um, I still cannot kill the anguish. Do I have something with, there's nothing with a damage icon either, so it's not like I can... Blech. Lyak, yak, yak, because you do have the stealth star on you. So with you, I'm gonna fight versus one of the Nels, most likely. Yeah, let's fight versus one of the Nels, so at least he doesn't draw as much anymore. Play you here. What do I want to copy with you? Mm. Who really want to... Let me just see. I could copy you to. Oh, yeah, that works. I can play this on the right to copy you. And yes, I would want to exalt to deal free damage to your anguish. So that is gone. So yeah, definitely, that definitely definitely works. Then I can ward something. Ugh, let's ward the abs. Don't really have anything I need to ward right now. Let's see. Ah, red alert. Okay. But I do still have too many creatures for that. Okay. But it's likely at least that my opponent. Yeah. He goes with a different house than. Ah, but he... Oh, Johnny Longfingers. I need to get this key right now. If he gets to prevent my key, I lose, I think. Because if he... He has his whole deck in hand. So he will play Johnny Longfingers. And, <laughs> of course, if I had bought five of Johnny Longfingers on board, my ammo is going to be stolen. Like, all of it. I don't mind that. I don't mind him bouncing my stuff. That just empowers my red alert. The problem is if I get my key right here. If I have only one ember, the board wave, of course, is fine. Yeah, yes, you can steal everything, but it's not big of a deal. That's not big of a deal. What did he bounce? My Jata? Oh, my Titan Guardian. Okay. Bounce my Titan Guardian. Uh, look, oh, there's steal one. Uh, that's tough. He needs just needs one more steal or capture. Yeah, he's finishing blow as well. Yes, it's it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out for me. Come on, come on, come on. Don't have your... Don't have your... There's Red Penny. God damn it. There's the Red Penny. Yeah, if I... Can I kill Longfingers first if I go with Starlight to Red Alert? Mm, do have only have my my finger magic on board, so no, I won't be. If I Yeah, it's GG because I need to Okay, what could happen? Okay, what could happen here? Yeah, it's possible. What could happen? I've I red alert. I kill everything basically, barring like his big boys. 
Then I could trigger Book of EQ for Logos, and with the Vormo Technician I could reveal my Graft, which I didn't play yet, right? Yeah. So that's my only hope. That's my only hope. <laughs> let's do it. Let's hope for the best. Let's first, let's do the Red Alert thing. He gets to steal a bajillion. We reap right here. And then we try to get Logos. Axiom, okay, sadly. That that work doesn't work out then. That means he will be able to... I could have played this first one, Ember. Um, yeah, I could have. Should have probably as well. Let's just do it like this. Just, just I don't, It doesn't matter. Because I can still get the graft. I can still get the graft, right? Yeah, I can still get the graft. I can Imperial Forge here. Then I can do this. Ooh. Oh, Axiom. God damn it! Okay, but yeah, it was like it had how many 12 cards deck in the left in the deck. It would have been a lucky draw, but the hope was there. Now it is GG barring I get deck. Yeah, no, it's GG. Yeah, it is. I don't have, I don't have Ember Control in my hand. I don't have Ember Control in my hand. It's GG. I don't know why you would mark off this my Star Lines though, because the Star Lines I do have my book, so I can just change into it, whatever. Don't really know why it would do that, to be fair. But it's still, I keep it will still win. So, oh no, the, he has. Never mind me. Never mind me. He did everything correct. He just has time my book. So I did everything correct, and it is a GG. Yeah, the uh, yeah, I need my board wipe earlier. I need my board wipe. I need my you know, axiom or something like that when before he drew his whole deck. <laughs> before he did that. Sadly, it did elude me. So yeah, that's definitely like he, he did a good job at archiving like a Starline stuff to get the the Nell value train rolling. I got a good draft off, but not really. Uh, sadly, the problem was the five damage uh, GG. The problem was the five damage uh, anguish he had in the field. Then, if I wouldn't have to pay that extra five, I might have had a shot. But yeah, I didn't. At this point, I didn't answer. So yeah, well played by my opponent. And <laughs> so I would have loved to get that on video, like to get the the, the combo going, like with the uh, Saurian Golden Spiral. First the Star Lines into Saurian with Golden Spiral into Warm Condition into Graft. That would be pretty insane to have on video. But either way, that is the video itself. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, of course, leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. Uh, hit me on Twitter, Facebook. All the links are in the description. And I will see you another time. Ciao.